Dr. Isaac, as it were. Mm -hmm. Do you have much memory of your childhood, Dr. Isaac? I apologize. It, uh, I'm sure from your angle, this seems a bit odd. A stranger asking you about your childhood and taking you on a trail. I was orphaned at a young age, so I don't really remember too much. You don't remember anything of your your birth parents then? What is this you're trying to say? Your name is Isaac Bones. We were raised on Roanoke Ridge, just north of Annisburg. My name is Norman Bones. You are my younger brother, Isaac. Our mother fell very ill when she had you. Some sort of sickness. She died within the week. Our father bared that burden for many a year until he decided he could not take it anymore. He decided that he could not forgive you for what happened to our mother. I don't know what he did after that. He wouldn't let me see you. I don't know where you went or who with. Or for what reason have you lost your memory? But our father was a cruel man. He did cruel things to me and you. He got what he deserved. He died in the same ways that he hurt us. You are my younger brother, Isaac. I am Norman Bones. I don't know where your path has taken you. But mine has been... dark, to say the least. Photographer. There's a lot more that comes to that. Look at you, you're a doctor. A man of science. Morbid curiosity. Illness is something that is going to spread through the land. Regardless. Mm. Armadillo is fine. As long as you don't drink the water. No one ever figured out what exactly happened to that water. <laughs> Illness works in many different ways. Just a moment. Lots of ways most people don't understand. They never did figure out what killed our mother. If there was ever a doubt that you were my little brother, it has just left. I'd imagine it would be best if we continue on not knowing one another for the sake of the populace. Acquaintances. Acquaintances. Safe travels. You as well, Doctor. <laughs>